Hey guys, so I know the last clip you saw I was making this smoothie but I didn't I didn't like finish recording the video because there was no light to blend it and I didn't feel like putting on the generator so I just gave up right I just gave up but you guys this is amazing <laughs> Oh my god, I never knew that I had to put milk and the taste would be so good. Like, I put milk and celery. Those are the two different items in my smoothie right now at this moment. Like, I put, oh my god, I'm just going to write everything. I'm going to put the video like that, even though it's not complete. I'm just going to put the video like that, but this is really good. What the hell? Like, I just tasted it. Like, <laughs> Oh my god, it's so good! I'll have told babe to taste it, but he does not like smoothie, he doesn't like fruits as much as I do, so he's not going to answer me. <laughs> but guys, you guys, this was really I just want to tell you guys that this was really good. Oh, ah! Yes. Ah! Okay, bye. Happy Sunday, bye. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. So I just I just Okay, so I did this clothes how many years ago? Maybe? Three years ago. From three years from yeah, three years ago. Three years ago. Three years ago I did this clothes and it sized me when we finished doing it in Anabra. But then a month after it legit did not size me again. And you guys, you guys see your girl. <laughs> but the problem is I cannot my hand this part is too tight, so let's say this part is not here. I could actually wear it, but look at but my breast is also flattened, like really, really flattened. Shake it. But guys, I'm so happy. That means, oh, oh my god, you guys look at me. Ah! How, do, how nice. do I look, baby? I look good, no? I can't wait to do because of that place. But, but you guys, I'm losing weight. Your girl's losing weight. What's this one? Good. Okay. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. It's just my breast that is squashed, but yes, this is how I want to be dressing. Uh huh. <laughs> You're not doing your signature move. That's not. That's mine. <laughs> anyway, guys, we are going out. Babe's friends. No, babe's friend. Babe. Babe's mom. friend's mom is celebrating her birthday today, so we're going out. So both of us are wearing our Valentine dress. Look at my dress. Oh my god. But that is our chick we never got to wear. Yep. Because we not go uh, now we're wearing it now. So it's better later than ever. See this camera is not standing straight. What the hell is this? Standing straight it is. Anyway, shall I wear my dress? And Ooh. Okay, so let's just go. We're already late. The Uber is going to. Is it Uber? We both. See my shoe, you guys. I can't wear it, so I'm going to carry it like this in a bag. That speech us to number our days. Yeah, it's in the Bible. In the book of Psalms, chapter 90, verse 12. The Bible says, Teach us to do what? Sing to you happy birthday to you. Oh, 
Taking you in this moment, come get close like you. Who is making cake? It sounds like we've done things. Are you going to use the mixer or the yarn? My hand, I'm done. Some have already done the mixer. Did you put the food stuff? Yeah. I can see it. That's what Max is. It looks like shit. Well, this is really sweet, you guys. It's so sweet. I'm just going to rub it stuff around. Palm oil! What the hell? The dishes are not done, so. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yay, 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 yay. I'm gonna eat cake today. I'll shower. No, we don't shower. Baby, is it? And that woman used more fancy something to clean, to, to do this stuff. This is not fancy enough. Yeah, it's not fancy. Ah! Oh my god. Come on, face. guys, look at my face. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> my woman is not fancy. Can you see? Nice. Oh, you're not fancy. I love your one. Yeah, yeah, better. Just see that. But you're wicked. I know. But then what are you doing? Alright, you want more of all this love? You'll be your name. Release all of your burdens. You can be your perception. Take a load off and your clothes off. I guess the butter is so good. White cake is this one. Mm, that's so nice. Yeah, and soft. This will taste nice. Happy birthday to me. G. That is my name, which is not that is back. <laughs> your loud is your clap is too loud. My loud is too clap. Hey guys, so I just finished this book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F. <laughs> okay, I don't want to say the word, but you guys get it. And I, I started this book in February, but I finished it this month. Why? Because I realized there's no book that I want to actually brush and finish, you know? I wanted to actually take my time, and to be honest, it was worth it. I just wrote my review on Goodreads, and I think it's going to be the same thing I will say, so let me just read it to you guys. I was drawn by the cover, then I read the first chapter like I was reading a novel, only to realize that this book is not the type of book to be rushed. Maybe it's because he's blunt and really doesn't give a flick or whatever. I really enjoyed his short stories. I learned a lot as regards commitment, boundaries, health and exercise, responsibility, life, values, mindset, death. From the book, there was, a, there was I actually quoted something from the book and it says, if there really is no reason to do anything, then there's also no reason to not do anything. Honestly, that statement actually gets me, you know, okay, fine, what if, if, if if I don't actually have any reason to lose weight, then 
it was my reason for not losing the weight do you get like what's my reason for not losing it if i have no reason to you know it just talks about so many things that we actually you know prioritize in our lives that it's not necessary it talks about really the part where it talks about relationship that part was actually crazy because it made me start wondering okay am i in a healthy relationship or not you know stuff like that and that part where it talked about death oh my god that part was actually really crazy too i was like wow so i think this is a book i'll actually read again and this time next time i'll read it i'll actually i think i'll try to annotate because i wasn't able to really really annotate but I, like colored some parts that i felt spoke to me particularly and the stories in the book are interesting so that's all i have to say yeah like you, you don't need to think about what people will think about you like we, in life we just we just think about okay we're always bothered oh does this person like me would they like me better if i do this or stuff like that like you should not even care about that you should do if you want to do it for real then you do it you know that kind of vibe ah I need to get this stand. I just finished the class. I woke up like five minutes to the class. The class was for 8.30 to 9.30, but I was so tired yesterday. <sighs> so I wanted to uh, talk about the boat because I'm, I'm supposed to be editing that vlog right now, but I didn't talk about the boat ride that we had. So I want to know, is it normal? Okay, when I was in Lagos, I took boat. But in Ibadan, I've never taken boat before. And in Lagos, I don't know, they did not ask me to go offline. You know, like, okay, I should go offline and pay uh, cash, right? But here in Ibadan, I don't understand what's happening. I know it happens in Lagos where the people, they will ask you to go offline. But is it like normal? Is it normal? And this was what happened. So the first boat we took to the party, the man was really, really i don't know how to explain that man that man was so nice and he was so intellectual we didn't talk you know because i was talking big of course but the man was so nice and intellectual and he was it looked it looked god fearing and yeah yeah it was really really calm so he didn't even say anything i, I even kept him waiting and he was like okay uh, and i told him i'm sorry you know so we were on our way and when we got there, of course, the price on boat was different from the price that we had to pay. But it was okay because we knew the, the, the place we were going to was very far away. Right? So we paid, you know, with the help. When we were coming back, the guy, immediately we entered, the guy just said, Eh, how much? Like, when we were coming back, the, the boat we got, the guy, immediately we entered, the guy was just like, Eh, how much is, how much did the boat call it? And we now told him the price because, obviously, like, I didn't expect that he would say anything. I was like, ah, it's too cheap, oh, that I cannot ride us to that place. And we, we have, we are, we are already, called, we are already used to, like, since we took in the money and we had that money, right? So, we're okay to add money, like, if the meter reads and then we're supposed to pay more. There's no problem, right? But the guy was not saying that, okay, we should cancel the ride, then it would take us. So, I, I was not like, cancel, babe and I were not talking about that. Canceling the ride is actually risky do you guys do that do you cancel the ride so you can pay the guy and then the funniest thing is that the guy was not asking for like extra more like more it was ridiculous the money he was asking for was now ridiculous i was like it was not comparing ibadan to lagos uh, in lagos boat is not that cheap like ibadan ibadan is very very cheap and the company the boat company is actually um not paying them well and the percentage they take i don't know i feel like he's he was lying because the guy was like acting like a thug but it was really scary because we had to cancel the ride. In fact, if we had known, maybe we wouldn't have even agreed to his terms. We would have gotten down and we would order another boat. Because I felt like, okay, fine. It's one thing to cancel. It's one thing to cancel the ride and then you take us to another location. You know, then we we die. <laughs> I don't know. That was what was running in my head. Anyway, am I just being weird or do you guys? Like what is your? I I don't I I don't know how to explain, but I want to know what you guys think. How how you guys do it? Do you agree to cancel the ride and pay more, or you just pay more if the computer reads more? That's it. <laughs> I was legit scared, but it was his car was nice and the driving was fun. But it was we also had a conversation with him. Like we asked him. If you want to okay register for boat and you want to start to ride like is there a boat company where you can go to but i just felt like it was kind of weird that it was 
kind of cheating boat you know he, he didn't let both get their commission even though both was the one that made us find him and i think that is that human nature is actually a very bad one i don't know i'm just saying my own